Nathan, we heard about the victory of Christophe Laporte there. That's quite a, a run here in the Tour de France by the team with yellow jersey and another win. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's our fifth, uh, You're uh, four, yeah, fifth or fourth stage, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's, it's incredible. Uh, I would say he wasn't feeling 100% uh, after yesterday's efforts. Uh, so uh, Christophe was free to do the sprint himself. And I just uh, he gapped the whole peloton. I, I didn't even think it was a sprint. So uh, yeah, I'm super, super happy for him. Yeah. How was that stage played out? Because we saw a couple different attacks holding like around a minute all day. The sprinters really wanted it or what was the desperation uh, out there? There was, for starters, there was a, a pretty strong breakaway, but I really didn't understand the tactics of the sprinters teams. They kept it at one one minute, one fifteen, and then they they almost closed it down, which also caused the peloton to uh, yeah, there was a, there was a lot of stress. I didn't really understand their tactics, but yeah, it's a, every team for himself. Uh, but then in the in the in the final, we start, they started the tech uh, started going again, and we also we also wanted to be in uh, if if we saw the opportunity. But uh, in the end, I'm happy it turned out this way. How many more wins will the team get? Two. <laughs> Nathan, we talked this morning about the possibility of crosswinds. What we did see was a little attack from Tadej Pogacar on a descent there with about 30k to go. Um, were there any nervous moments? Uh, I think it really, how would you say, um, it's really very nice of Tadej to keep on, keep on attacking because I think he just loves racing. But on the other hand, it's also... Yeah, where, where, where did he want to go? I mean, we had still the full team there, so we were never going to let him go. Um, so there was there was no, no stress about that, no. He just looks like a kid sometimes, the way he's a kid in a toy shop sometimes. Yeah, but he's a very strong kid. So, <laughs> you know, the way he races might, might seem childish maybe, but uh, we never underestimate him. We have a lot of respect for him and uh, every attack hurts. Just finally, everyone talks about how Christophe Laporte has really moved up a level since he joined your team. Have you seen that happen before your own eyes from the start of the season that he's just got better and better and better? Yeah, for sure. Uh, when he, uh, when the first training camp we did together, uh, it was all kind of new for him. The way we trained, the way we, uh, we, we've um, had our nutrition uh, in order. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think uh, he can only, uh, only improve from here.